Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Grady Tech and these are the 6 must have apps for your Lenovo Vibe K5. Ok, I went to school, I know how to count, there are 8 apps on the screen but 6 are the must have apps and the 2 are optional. So the first app in the list is UC Browser and this is pretty much how it looks. So I've currently opened up Amazon. The only reason I'm suggesting you to use this instead of the Google Chrome is because it has an ad blocker inbuilt and it also has nice gestures to navigate. So if I want to go back, I don't need to press any button, I can simply swipe left, oh sorry, swipe right and I'm a step back. If I swipe to the left, it goes forward. So pretty unique gestures but this application irritates you with unnecessary notifications. So let me just show you how to disable that. Just go to settings. In the settings, disable auto pager. Then select quick access and disable all this stuff. And besides that, go to settings. In settings, select notification, select app notifications. In the list, you need to select UC browser and you need to block all the notifications. So in this way, we can enjoy UC browser without being irritated by it. Next, we have MX player, which is the best video player on Android. So once you have enabled it, just play any video that you want and you have some nice gestures like if you swipe on the right it will increase or decrease the volume and if you swipe on the left it will increase or decrease the brightness if you swipe left to right or right to left it will change the playback position so you have all these nice gestures and besides that we have different modes like hardware mode, software mode and hardware plus mode you can enable the hardware plus mode from the settings if you use the hardware decoder, it will use the GPU to render the video and thereby saves your battery while you are watching videos. So definitely use MX player instead of your stock or default video player. Next we have VLC which is an alternative for MX player just in case if you don't want to use MX player, we get the same gestures even in VLC. Additionally we get the option to play videos in slow motion. The next app is Timely and this is how it looks. It's basically a timer just like the stock clock application but you have pretty good alarm built into it. You have nice gestures to create alarms. It also has the sync feature to sync alarms between multiple devices. It can wake you in different ways like it'll ask you to solve math problems to stop the alarm. It is not your regular alarm clock, it's a smart alarm clock. You can configure the app to stop the alarm only when you solve a math problem or if you make any gesture. So in that way it's a smart alarm. Besides that, it looks cool and it's simply amazing. Just give it a try. The next app in the list is Truecaller and to use it, you need to first register with your mobile number. Whenever you get any call from any unknown number, Truecaller finds the contact name from its database and gives you the name when you are connected to the internet. So using this Truecaller, you can block out 90% of the spam list. So a pretty good app and definitely must have app. The next app is ES File Explorer. So to say the least, it's the Swiss army knife. You can do anything and everything just from this one app. It is just loaded with features and it'll take me 10 minutes just to explain the entire stuff. On the whole, it's a pretty good file manager which looks pretty and it is functional. By the way, besides the stock file manager, no other file manager can write data to the SD card. So let's say if I want to move a file from the internal storage to an external storage. So we get this kind of an error. Sometimes you might not be able to transfer the files. So if you want to move the files from internal storage to the SD card, use your stock file manager. But if you want to just use the files or copy the files to your internal storage, use ES File Explorer. It looks pretty and it's functional and it's simply amazing. You can watch my separate video on how to use ES File Explorer to know more about this awesome app. The next app in the list is App Dialer and if you are like me who uses or who installs a lot of apps and lazy to find those apps in the app drawer, you must definitely use App Dialer. So these are the apps that are currently installed on this device. So let's say I want to open Play Store. I can simply search for Play, P-L-A and it gives me a shortcut for the Play Store. If I want to open MX Player, I can search for MX 
and it gives me a shortcut for the MX player. Additionally, on the Pro version, we get quick shortcuts like App Info, Pin to Home Screen, and See on Play Store. A highly functional app, and I don't think everyone will use it, but once you start using it, you will get insanely addicted to it. The next and the final app is Disk Usage. If you are ever in a situation where your internal storage is running out of space and you don't know what's occupying all the space in the internal storage, then this app will make your life easy. It will graphically represent each and every folder in your internal storage. In that way we will know which files are taking up unnecessary space and we can delete all the unnecessary files. So once it is done, it gives us this graphical representation. So at the bottom, it always shows us the free space. As of now, I have a free space of 1.3 GB or 1300 MB. And let's see the internal storage. Most of the space is occupied by the Android folder. In it, we have again two folders, data and OBV. And these are the files and the space that are occupied by these files. So in this way, I can easily know which folder or which application is taking up too much space on my phone. So there you have it guys, these are the must have apps that you must definitely use on your Lenovo Vibe K5. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you want to find out other interesting apps that you can use on your Lenovo Vibe K5, check out the other videos in my channel. I hope you found this video to be helpful guys. If you like it, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll catch up with you in my next video. Until then, have a nice day.